Kenya 750D, Canon's family-friendly T6 I should get the job done. Launched all the way back in early 2015, and Ian in camera tech terms, the 750D is one of Canon's advanced beginner DSLRs. At the time of its launch, it sat above the most basic 1200D. These days it still sits above Canon's more recently announced 2000D and 4000D. Those looking for the most recent model in this range need to check out the Canon EOS 800D. If you're on a strict budget, considering older models makes a lot of sense. For those seeking to buy their very first DSLR, the 750D and its 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor is still a pretty attractive proposition. Right now, you can pick one up with a kit lens for just shy of 500 pounds. That'll save you a good 200 pounds off the more recent 800D. But what are you sacrificing to save the cash? Unlike the 800D, the 750D lacks dual pixel CMOS app which improves autofocus speed accuracy in live view and video. The 750D's autofocus is still solid, though, and some other handy features could make it a better option for you than some of Canon's newer, cheaper DSLRs. If jaw-dropping, dynamic style is high on your camera priority list, you are unlikely to come to a DSLR for it. The Canon EOS 750D has the classic Canon DSLR look, with a chunky black body that most people will only be able to set apart from other entry-level Canon models by looking at the name badge. It's practical, not a Perina. Being a lower-end model, the Canon EOS 750D's outer parts are polycarbonate rather than magnesium alloy, which is only found on more expensive models. It doesn't feel ultra-high-end, then, but it's still tough. There's no creaking or warping of the parts that make up the Canon EOS 750D shell, and it has an aluminium skeleton underneath the plastic to help keep everything rigid. A slightly lower end construction also keeps the camera alive. It feels nicely low heft for a DSLR, despite its large hand grip. Full weatherproofing, though, is still reserved for Canon's more expensive cameras. A light polycarbonate body camera may become a disadvantage if you're looking to mount giant fast lenses. But if you want to sample some of Canon's cheaper high-quality options, such as the bargain 50mm f1.8 lens, they'll suit the Canon EOS 750D perfectly. What's rather more specific to the Canon EOS 750D is a very laid-back control style. It has just the single manual control wheel up on the top plate and a very easy to reach mode dial. By cutting down on the number of controls, Canon has been able to make the few that do feature very easy to access. This camera is easy to use and still gives you plenty of manual control if you're after it. The mode dial features priority modes that let you control one main element, such as aperture or shutter speed, letting the camera sort out the rest to best suit that setting. We use these easy manual modes about 90% of the time. By plumping for the 750D over the newer Canon EOS 800D, you will lose out on a few improved features. Most notably, the 800D features Canon's excellent dual pixel AF sensor, which you won't find here. There's also an older processor, Digix 6, one of the results of which means you are restricted to shooting at 5 FPS as opposed to the 6 FPS available from the 800D. That said, if you're looking for a basic model that slots more easily into your budget, all of these improvements are nice to have rather than absolute essentials. At the time of the 750D's launch, Wi-Fi and NFC were pretty much the standard connectivity options for cameras like this. These days, NFC has on the whole disappeared while always on low power Bluetooth connectivity is very popular. Either way, if you want to send your shots over to your phone for quick sharing, you can do that with the 750D. You can also remotely control the camera using Canon's pretty good free app.